Right, okay, I'm gonna talk about uh, eSpeak today. It's a command line Linux utility, uh, and I'm gonna show you how I read about 10 or 11 books a day using it. So, basics first. Uh, it lets you do text-to-speech, basically. So, here's an example. Hello, this is from Linux. Hello, this is from Linux. Right, standard text-to-speech stuff. If you expect anything different than that, then, well, sorry, but, we uh, can do things like this. So the K flag, put 20 in it, it's what it says in documentation. I'm not really sure why. Uh, it pronounces capitals, so Hello, this is from Linux. you see it gives more emphasis Hello, there. This is from Linux. So it's like Linux and Linux. You can change the pitch as well. So if we do P100 hmm, like that. Hello, this is from Linux. Right, so high pitched uh, text to speech voice. If we do 10, it would be a very manly one. Hello, this is from Linux. So we can change the pitch, we can change the speed. So this is in worst minutes, so if we do 10, it'll be a very slow. Hello, this is from Linux. Really slow. Uh, 160 is the default. Hello, uh, 300. Hello, this is from Linux. Very quick, man. All uh, right, okay. So we can change the speed, we can change the pitch, we can make it pronounce capitals. I only got four things, but three. Um, so we can also change the voice. So if you provide a dash dash voices, that gives you the uh, all the voices that are pre-installed. So I'm using Fedora, I like my system to work, and uh, these are the voices that come pre-installed. Um, so let's pick Finnish, because Linux was made by a Finnish person. Uh, uh, I know he actually was from a Swedish-speaking part of Finland, but anyway. So Europe FI, so to do that we give it the dash V flag, let's take away the speed, dash V, and we paste in. Hello, this is from Linux. <laughs> Stop it. Swedish, that uh, Finnish man now saying that. So we can even compare it to how Linux actually sounds. Linux as Linux. Hello, my name is Linux, normal, and I pronounce Linux as Linux. There we go. So let's see how that actually compares. Let's see. So pretty accurate. Oh, there we go. And we can actually see how he pronounces that using IPA, which is that sort of code of how a word sounds. So I'm not sure how that looks. Um, to an IPA person. I'm not a linguist, unlike some people. Um, but I wonder if I delete that, it actually changes. Hello, my name is Linus. Ah, so that might be better there. Uh, this actually looks like things I've seen in Wikipedia articles before. Anyway, all sort of irrelevant to how I'm productive with it. I think you'll see where this is going, but eSpeak can read from, well, it can obviously read from sort of standard input so file as well. So we can echo um, this, this from a file. A file. If we echo that into a file, file, yeah, it just contains this is from a file. Cool. Uh, and then we can eSpeak that. So eSpeak redirect the contents of a file into it. From a file. There we go. But the, be the better way to see that is just to pass the F argument to eSpeak. From a file. There we go. I use this to read books. So I download the books um, using any method. I have here Julius Caesar dot text. Uh, it's all here. Five thousand lines. I downloaded it from Project Gutenberg, and here we go. So we can do eSpeak, the file name of Julius Caesar. Title, Julius Caesar, author, William Shakespeare. The tragedy of Julius Caesar, by William Shakespeare. Contents. Too brute. Right, okay, fine. We are going to put this into eSpeak. eSpeak dash F, Julius Caesar. Uh, we can lower the gap between the words with dash G, so that's sort of the, if he takes a, a breath. Um, Speed that up, so S three hundred. So title Julius Caesar, author William Shakespeare, the tragedy of Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. Contents Atticing I Rome. You could probably hopefully understand all that. Three hundred isn't very quick, but I've gotten to about seven hundred right now. So if I do seven hundred here, right, this is quite quick, but you can still understand the individual words. I'd recommend slamming a monster or some other form of energy drink before doing this. Um, as I have done before I recorded this video, as you might be able to tell by my erratic actions. 700. Right, that would probably take a long time to actually read through it. So I, I don't do that. 
Um, that's how what I can understand. But to process subconsciously, you can actually increase the speed, say, to a thousand, right? That's quite quick. And probably with two or three monsters, you'd be able to understand it. But this is how I read loads of books. Right, so if we set it to 9,500, it sounds like this. Okay, I know what you're thinking. How can you understand that? And I can't, but my subconscious brain can. So we can actually save this to a WAV file. So we use dash W here and we call it uh, Caesar.wav. And now it's saving it into the WAV file. Not sure how long this is gonna take. So that's done. It took about 30 seconds, and now we have Caesar.wav, which is the, the, the web file of the, the eSpeak. There we go. So, what I do is I actually save this onto my phone, right? Uh, and I do it with other books too. I make a playlist of them, so 10 or 11 books. Um, each one takes, you know, 2 minutes, 24. Yeah, some, most books will be longer than that, about 10 minutes maybe even for some of the bigger ones. Um, but yeah, so that's what I do. I load those onto my phone, I put them in a playlist, and I just loot them overnight. Uh, when I'm asleep, those books are constantly blasting into my ears at this speed. Uh, I don't understand anything. My brain does. My dreams are pretty wacky. Um, and I wake up having memorized about 11 books. Let's say I sleep for eight hours. I've listened to that book over, over 10 times at least. And it's all there, uh, comprehensive. I can recall any phrase uh, from that book. I can't give you an example right now. That's how I read 11 books a day using eSpeak. Bye.